Hey, it's Andrew from PracticalMaker.com. Um, I've got an update for the Arduino uh, Icicle Lights. Uh, basically today we've added in a XP Shield on the Arduino. Um, you can see I hacked it a little bit because the XP Shields come with a ICSP header which means you can't stack it. So I just ripped it off and soldered the power wires uh, directly on it and they're plugged into the socket. And there's also an XP Explorer uh, from SparkFun. So basically now I can control almost every aspect of the uh, lights right now. So there's power levels. Um, so I'm just going to say the commands out instead of panning the camera up. So Z starts the command. Uh, M is for power level. 1 is power level 1 which is 25%. Set that with X and get out of that with Y and you can see they dimmed quite a bit. Uh, you can also set the color of these. So if I want to change it to blue, we will go to uh, G. So Z to get into the commands. Uh, G for blue. Uh, 9 for power level 9, which is uh, 9 times 200, so it'll give 1800. Uh, X to get out of that, Y to get out of that, and you can see the colors have changed. And basically any each of the two colors, so there's two colors, red, green, blue for the first one, red, green, blue for the second one, and you can set each of those colors individually as well as the power level. So if I want to do sequence one as uh, red and green, that would be uh, Z for um, get into the command and then E for sequence one red, 9 for power level 9, X to set that, 9 to set that. And uh, oops, there we go. and then you can see it's changed again. So basically with a bunch of playing around it'll be easier through the web interface. Um, I won't have to remember which commands to type. Uh, the other thing you can do is set which sequence is displaying. So we can go uh, Z command uh, C for the next sequence, Y to set that. Uh, you can see the power level is at 1 so we're actually going to set the power level uh, Z M for power level 4 X Y okay and we have that set and I've actually been playing around with it so it's only fading from red to red but um, let me, let's just change that just to show so we'll do fade in color so of red so Z, uh, K, and a 1 for that. Whoops, I'm typing that into the Arduino IDE. Uh, Z to get to the command. Um, K for the fade in color. 1 for red. X to get out of that. Y to get out of that. Fade out color will set as uh, blue. So Z to enter the command mode. Uh, L for the second color, uh, 3 for blue, X to set that, Y to get out of that. There we go. And uh, basically that's all there is to it. You can also set the color, how, how bright these are going to go. It's set fairly low right now, I think. Um, so we'll just brighten it up to the max. So, Z for command, N for the maximum uh, output on these. We'll do 9, which will give a 1800 value, 9 times 200, which will be able to be changed. Uh, X to set that, and Y to get out. And you can see we've brightened it up. Um, also, the power, see, the color maximum uh, is, goes from 0 to 9. So that would be 0 to 1800 for a PWM value. 
the power levels are based off of that. So if you find it's really dull, you need to set the, the maximum power uh, a little higher. Uh, so we're actually just going to go and do the last um, sequence. So Z, D, Y. And basically that sets them all to one. Uh, that they all fade from one color to another. And uh, you can actually change, by changing the one uh, fade out color, to, let's change the fade out color to, to two, which is green. So we'll go Z, K, 2, X, Y. And then when this gets through, uh, they'll start fading in from red to green, which is a bit more Christmassy, but uh, whatever. Uh, lastly, there's there's um, you can set it as a a random sequence, so you can just put if you send a zero for the sequence, uh, it'll take that as pick a random one, and uh, you'll end up with a random one. Uh, to do yet is add in number of iterations. Um, so if you had it set on the random one, it would do a hundred iterations before going to the next uh, random one. Anyways, uh, the web app should be up before the end of the weekend, I hope. We'll see how that goes. But I hope you enjoyed the video, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.